Are yours clean? No. Oh, hello. <laughs> Good afternoon, how are you? Oh, yeah. um, welcome to Facebook um, Live. It's really good to have your company. I've got Lou with us. With us. With us. Sorry. No, no, I'm used to it now, Janice. How are you? Yeah, I'm all right. Look. Yeah, you're all right. You've got your glasses. I've got my glasses. Yeah, they're not from B&Q, are they? Fact, no. They look very nice. Uh, uh, supermarket special. Uh, right, I'm just going to refresh uh, Facebook Live for us because we are going out live. Yeah, live. Um, so it's great to have your company. Any questions, comments you want to say, then pop them onto Facebook Live and uh, we'll interact with you. That's what it's all about this hour. Absolutely. Hour, half hour, depending on what we've got to do. Right, so I'm kind of standing at your stage here yeah. but I've got my station around there yeah. look at this excited about this what are we going to do Lou well I've got one day special coming up and it's um, I was I thought lovely moments what's that gonna be about and when I got it I was absolutely over the moon because it's got so much scope but it's also got all the die cuts and even it but then I can just change it up and I thought we could have a bit of a mess around today on changing up the elements out of it okay. so it's slightly arty but it's also achievable and I show stuff at home and people say to me but you didn't get to finish it so just okay. to do it right so okay. this is the one day special launching tonight yeah it's called lovely moments by how Studio excited Light. are you for it I am really because the die cuts are brilliant because it's got some really funky new pages yeah. I mean they've got some behind us that we'll show yeah. later but they're all different shapes so you've got like um, a harlequin one you've got um, really nice flower ones and they all fit the other ones that we've had so all the other stuff you've seen from studio like they all fit and you know you've got some really beautiful background they and all lovely, this aren't they? and you get the papers so it all oh you could just do this or what we and Janice Janice and I are going to do are we going to do that no but we're going to do something that's you could use like this so the style of the book lends itself very much to what we're going to do but we're just going to use elements from it right be gentle with me Lou I know you can do this with your eyes shut oh I don't know about that right. uh, let's give it a go you've got paint pot water. yes I've got some water right all you need is um, a scrubby uh, blender a blender yeah <laughs> a blender and I've give you a clean one which is new for me that's something new. I've got a um, a bit of gesso yeah and the gesso is to knock some of these back because we've got a piece of craft cat well you could choose actually you okay. can choose whether you want that one or that one i'm, I'm not worried oh no you choose because i'm rubbish at choosing right well i'll leave you that one. yeah let's just okay. do that and what i've done is i've cut the first piece out and as you can see it's really quite a nice shape but you can paint that if you want you don't okay. have to leave it like that so then the next step is i've got a piece of card now this is not great for watercoloring but it's great for adding that certain something okay so i'm not going to stick it down with water but the reason being is with water uh, glue water <laughs> with, I, I meant to say wet with wet i'm glue. not going to stick it down with water well, i, I thought, try can I? that won't work i thought that's a new concept yeah okay. stick it down with wet water <laughs> i'm going to use bits okay. of tape and the reason is because it's not going to introduce any more or extra water is now, this double-sided yes yeah, double-sided you only need little bits because i like to keep it have free. you split yours in oh, yeah, just rip okay. it. Ripped it in half yep yeah, just rip it now okay you only need little bits okay too strong and this is just to show you that on the actual uh, die itself you get lots of layers so you, you can have the size any size you want you know you don't have to just be con, constra uh, con, what's it, constrained by yeah right so I'll put the first one on that's the larger one yeah the la no yeah the next size up okay it doesn't matter which side you put it on it's so, up to you oh you're doing yours that way yeah it doesn't matter whichever okay. all we're gonna do is just leave a tiny get just a little gap all right yeah perfect and then what we can do is if you're a bit sort of unsure about what goes next and next always put them together and you know that yeah that one will go there now it just this is where you can mix up your papers so if you yeah. use white card or you use cream card it really doesn't matter are these dies on the show tonight yeah they are yeah great and what they are um a full set and yeah i've got them there with me but they they create all these layers for you yes. you don't have to mess about now i just need to check a couple of comments because they're coming through fast and thick 
on Facebook Live. Uh, we've got Cheryl, we've got Tori, uh, we've got Heather, we've got Lisa John. Hello, hello. everyone. Sylvia, hello to you as well. Hi, guys. Uh, Cheryl, hello to you. Anna Maria, hello Ooh. to you. Um, it's great to have you company. Oh, yeah. Emma's with us as well. Emma says hi. Right, let's take a look. Uh, Oh, Sylvia, you missed Good Morning Ho Chanda. Still asleep. Oh, I hope that wasn't. Sounds like me the other day, actually. Uh, yeah. but I, well, if you're working hard, that, that's all right. If you're just having a snooze because you're a lazy sob, that's oh. different, isn't it? I can't say that. No, you mm -hmm. can't. I did say it, though, but sometimes you, could you say, want a lazy day. You could say sausage. Sausage. Yeah, all oh, right, I can't say that. Right. But anyway. don't say wet earth. <laughs> right. Why? Silly sausage. You can say silly sausage, can't you? Yeah. Yes, you can. Ah, oh, wet earth. That means so it's a grass. It is. It's wet earth. Yeah, it is. It's yes. grass. I get you. Like, what wet Isn't earth? it? Yeah, words. Aren't words funny that they're oh, taken yeah, and used in other words? Especially when you when you're in different regions. Yeah. Because what matters? I also I'm not going to say it, but we we had a, a, a teacher, and what swearing in down south is swearing up north. And vice versa, and yeah. I also remember shouting this word out in the class, and you just like the kids just went, <laughs> <laughs> and you're just like, oh, maybe not, maybe not. Right, I'm right. not. I've just got a little bit here, but I'm not actually going to stick this one down. All I've done is made the base, so you can keep these two separate. Because what I'm going to do is, you can see you've got a nicely coordinating coat papers. Yeah, I've chosen papers that have got bits and bobs off. See, they're not that different. Don't you want to change? Don't you want to have that? Co that coordinates better with yours. No, don't worry. Don't worry because I'm changing it now. Oh, all right. Yeah. So what I'm saying is, if you do have papers, these are from the little pad that we've got. Yeah. So the pad itself is a six by six pad, and it's so useful. So what we're going to do is, we're going to change this up. Now, the other thing that you do, don't forget that you can use the back, but I love the softness of this. Yeah. And what we're going to do is, when you use your gesso, my advice is use it from underneath and use the lid, because then you're not going to put too much on. So we get that gesso, we get a little tiny bit on the edge like that that might not even that might even be too much and then we're just going to work it in like that yep just work it into that and then see yep a little bit more and you do it in little bits the stages all oh, right okay so we're not overloading it because it's 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 hard to get it off once you've got it on too much yeah. right and all we're going to do is just lightly and i mean lightly just skim over the paper you can hardly see it. Exactly. That, ah, yeah, got you. You can put a little bit more on if you feel that you can. And what you're doing oh, is... Oh, gosh, you're just dumbing it down, aren't you? Yeah, you're just taking that edge off it, but you're also giving it a tooth so that you can paint on it. Because some papers... I haven't tried these yet. I am going to try them. Some papers are easier to work on and blend, and some papers aren't. So if you spent ages mm -hmm. getting a card ready and your last bit of paper doesn't... Yeah. Gonna work, you, you, you're a bit gutted. So... Doing it this way, you know it's going to take on it. You know the dyes on the show tonight, Lou? Yeah. Uh, we've had a question yeah. uh, from Mary. Hi, Mary. Mary Craft Flowers. Are the journal dyes different from the last release? Yep, yeah. all different. Brilliant. All different. Although they all go in like the collection, they're all very different. Are they? They've all got flat. Some have got flowery edges, some have got scalloped edges, yeah. yeah. Although they might look similar, they are different. Because there's no point. It'd be awful, that, if you bought them and then think, oh, she's selling these again. They were on last week. Are they on the website yet? Uh, I don't know. I wonder. Sometimes Keep checking the website um, to make oh. sure. Oh, you've got quite a lot on. Shall I put more no, on? No, no, it's up to you. It doesn't matter. I oh. put a bit on there. And then just, it's entirely up to you. Okay. You don't have to do the other side. Or you can do it if you want. It's just a way of making things more coherent, sort of a bit more together. And like I say, you get a paintbrush on that, it's really difficult to get a dry brush in effect. It just ends up blobbing all over with the paintbrush. Right. Or you'll get a big area of white and then yeah. none of the anywhere else. Okay. You, know, you can do this with any card or paper you've got. I don't want to get rid of that beautiful colour though. I really like that. I yeah. think it's really pretty. So we're going to, we're not going to glue that down yet. What no. we're going to do is we're going to work on this as a 
a, a piece like we're going to make it the front cover okay. now this is the really simple bit we're going to choose a flower whichever one okay um i love this but it doesn't matter to me which one are these on the show tonight this is part of the one day special really um, oh my word i'm loving these so they all work with this the okay this is a sneaky peek everybody yeah, let's lovely. give you a sneaky peek i'll put it on the back there so you can see we so we've got that lovely I think that is a, is that a hydrangea? It is a hydrangea. Yeah. It could also be an apple tree if you take away the big leaves. It could but be that anything, is, can't yeah, it, if you call it? That's your hydrangea. Um, let me show you the carnation and the rose. Yep. There you go, carnation in the rose. You've got some sentiment. Sneaky peek for tonight. It's a really good one. One day one as well. special. And here is your. Is that your That's peony? Like, or your yeah, rose? a peony. Oh, it yeah. could be like a cottage rose, you yeah. know? Co de yeah, cottage rose, you're right. Yeah. Cottage rose. Love that. But then we've got these bags of. Ooh. Ooh. And these all tie in with all the colours and all the papers and everything that we've got. Okay. And these are all part of the one day special yep. that's coming up tonight. Can't wait for that launching at six o'clock. Absolutely. Right. Okay, Lou. So. Right. So we've got all our, I mean, uh, most of us have got some forms of distress yep. ink. Not in your life. We've all got plenty of that. <laughs> but what we're going to do is bear in mind that this is still visible, this colour. So we're going to look for something that sort of Okay. looks right with it so oh, yeah. if i was to say i could go with green i could go with pink but i quite like the idea of this fired brick i might go for spice marmalade absolutely cool yeah absolutely just, just choosing for, one color just for now yeah okay. all we're going to do or is start with one pink um you see, see this that, is the problem i have you choosing. could also if you wanted to do green later on you could go have that one later but i love them too yeah, it's I like them. I'm going to go for that. That's the one yeah, I chose first of all. Absolutely. I know the pink goes with the rose, but but you can add pink to it. Yeah. Right. Okay. Okay. So I'm really, going I nearly to drank this. <laughs> I did. Did you see me? I picked it up and I nearly drank it. <laughs> You're at the pub. We're having a pub. We're having a pub do, aren't we? <laughs> right. That was. I really nearly did drink that. <laughs> Why have not put she actually did pick it up to drink it and I just looked at it and I thought, no, don't do that. Sorry. No. That, that was right. class. Get that on the blooper if you can. <laughs> right, which one do you want? Do you want the hydrangea or the You choose cottage? first and I'll, I'll go I'll for have some. this one and then you use that one. Okay. All right. So, we're not... I'm having... I've got the hydrangea. Yep. I've got some of these in my garden at the moment. Beautiful, aren't they? Yeah. Now, don't forget, when you have a big stamp, you can always use, I love these mounts by Clarita. They're great. Yeah, they're, they're, they're fabulous because they've got the um, the markings on as well, haven't they? Yeah. And you can use it diagonal or anything, but for these big stamps, you want something. Now, so, just a little tip is when you're... So these are from Clarity. Yes. I love the grips on the top there, you know, so they don't slip, which is really good. Yours will be clean when you get yours, so I can just... Well, they're made there. sort of fit in that, so they don't move out of the little, um, the, oh, what's it called, the starter kit. So it's even better then, isn't it? <laughs> Tori says, Janice drinking moonshine from a mason jar. <laughs> it's hard to break, Janice. <laughs> yep, you bet. Maybe, I was going to sing Deliverance, but I better not. Right. Ding, 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 ding. It's a great film. Da -da -ding, ding, 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 ding. Right, so I've got this. It's now, you can feel, it's got that tooth yes. to it, hasn't it? Yeah. It's really going to take this. Yeah. So the, the idea of an oxide or yep. a distress, it doesn't matter. And all we're going to do is just concentrate on oh. your flower. Oh, I'm still going to go with spice marmalade. Oh, yeah, please do. I mean, you can do anything. I mean, I've only put certain colours out, but we're good. It, then you can colour it with a different colour. Now, I love this so I can see it. I can see where it wants to go. If you've got a stamp platform, that's even better. And we're going to do the really simple and easy um, watercolour technique. So okay. I would turn it whichever way you want to go. So yep. if you want it that way or that way, it doesn't matter to me. I'm not worried. So I'm just going to go get this back. I'll show you what I mean. So if I wanted that like that, I'd get my, my whole thing yeah. and think, do I want the flower to be uh, got that you. way? Yes, 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 yes. Or do I want it to be that way? Or oh. do I want it to be that way? Now, I think that looks quite nice. I'm, do you know what? I've just turned mine the same way. It's because we're left and right-handed. Is it? Yeah. Okay. So, doesn't matter if we've left this a while. You can huff on it. Take it away, though. The high, don't leave that there because I'll... That was me huffing on my stamp, by the way. Yeah. Oh. I didn't want you to get any idea. Did you see what I was doing? No. I'm off in paper. <laughs> Did you see that? I'm off in paper. 
Heavy breathing. <laughs> right. You're going to pass out in a minute. <laughs> right. <You're gonna> <laughs> hyperventilate. <laughs> right. Okay. So you can have it any way you want. Okay. I'm just going to keep it like that. And I'm just going to very gently just put it plonk straight down. That actually goes really well with that. Do that? Yeah. Straight down. Give it good. And then round the edges and you'll find that the stamps work for the cells. You're done. That'll be good now. Okay. You ready? Yeah. Perfect. Oh, look at that. Perfect. Now we've got the oxide and you use an oxide and it's a really nice, gentle sort of effect. Oh, I've got a message here from Heather. What's the difference between oxide and distress inks? Good question. One's, one's like more opaque and white. I'll show you what I mean. Um, let's, oh, I haven't got two there. If I show you on a bit of paper, hang on. Hang on, Mr. Mannerin. I'm here. Right. Can you see? That's got sort of like a a transparency but if I was to put this on here this is more oh more opaque Got and if you. I was to show you on here as well you can see that that's transparent but that's more opaque okay so there's a like a solid solidity to it rather than a transparency oh thank you for that and thanks for asking it's the good question, question Heather. Actually, well because done. a lot of people yeah, said you. to me like what is it and i'll say right well um the stamping platforms got a question yep. from um anna maria the I stamping know. platforms that we are using yes they are available they're yes. from clarity yeah, yeah what i like about them in particular is the grip at the top well, it's on each side, so it's it's ingenious, it really is. So at the top you can see you've got an area there, and at the sides as well, so yeah. you can grip that. You can do it that is, way, yeah, or that is, way, whichever way. Yeah. And they're made to fit in the groovy system, so they don't mess around, you know, yeah. sort of move around. But look, it's genius, because that helps me to get I'll keep hold yeah. of it then, There's nothing it? worse if you're holding a platform and it slips out your hand. Yeah. That grip is perfect. Yeah, it is, though. That, it's easy in one hand, though. It, it's not too weighty, that, because yeah. some of them are really thick acrylic. You're too yeah, you're weighty, right. and they'll drop out, whereas this, you can even just... And I've only got little hands. And but, you've also got um, the lines in here. Yeah. Um, so you've got your crosses on there. That's for placing the stamps on, is that right? And words. And words, so you can get them straight on there. Uh, these and are available corners. from Clarity. Because if you want to do a Go corner... And check them out. You oh. just put your uh, oh yeah, of course the you corners. Know, you can see where they go because corners are really difficult. Well, yeah, for me, and that's why Barbara Gray is a genius. Is Barbara Gray? Mm. That's right. Love right. that. Now, Thank you. We can do a couple couple of things, and we can do a bit of blending. Okay. Or we can do a little bit of colouring in. It's totally up to you. But the first thing we're going to do is make this pop out. Yes. So I've got a little bit of the oh what was it? Was oh, it I need wood? some then, don't I? Well, look, put a little bit of your main colour which is your spice mam marmalade a blob you don't need a lot and i think i used it was which one did i blooming use with a weathered wood and i've got a little bit of weathered wood but you could use a green as well just to show you what i mean i might use that one because i'm picking up on the green and the right so i might pick up i might pick up on that um i might go weathered yeah weathered wood i think that's a good choice yeah the ice spruce is a little bit lighter. Oh, it is ice spruce to use before. It's quite a nice you one. You're going three colours. No, no, it's the same colour. I was just testing. Oh, okay. Right. So I've, I've given you best brush, and all you need to do is I'm only using a water brush because it's under. But what you can I use anything. Then? Use a water brush. Okay. Me. Yeah. And you know, Sorry, if, you, I'm not if doing you're more hair. comfortable doing it like that, I mean, I can use a brush as well just to show you. So use your yeah. water brush. So you don't have to. People always say they, they have to use it as a water brush. You don't. You can just use it just as a, a paintbrush as well. So you don't have to keep going like that because if you're not comfortable comfortable with one of these you'll flood the valve yeah. it'll flood it all out probably best to start just yeah as it is. so just right. you can still dip it now what you're going to do is we're going to make the step first step is to make the flower pop out okay. we don't want to obliterate this color but what we want to do is sink it back down okay. so i'm going to use a paintbrush and i'm going to get my darkest color i'm going to make a wash can i use you? a paintbrush yeah, like you, you. I want to be like you then oh you can do yeah oh you're sad <laughs> apart from <laughs> <laughs> apart from yeah, apart yeah. from um saturday august the oh is that when we play you no when's the first match is it august the second august 11th august the second isn't yeah. it yeah. who are you playing first i think we've got watford at home oh, i've got it on my calendar you know i've got the whole year got the whole year there 
Right, right. So I've got a, a, quite a watery <coughs> texture. Which colour shall I go for? Darkest the dark, first. The dark. Yeah. Okay. And all we're going to do is we're not going on the line. No. We're going around it. So a tiny bit more water. Okay. Because you can always add a little bit more in. Yeah. And we'll want to create depth. So we're bringing, uh, got you. We're bringing so all it we're going to do is around it. Now it doesn't matter if you touch it at all, but what you don't want to do yep. is you don't want, you don't want, I'll just show you again. So if you go around, don't go around the holes. I make that mistake all the time. Don't go all the way around like that because you're not, you're not going to be able to come back and blend it out. So you need to do a little bit at a time. It doesn't matter if it mixes with your main colour. No. Nope, not at all. And then we're just going to go round. And the reason somebody, um, I know somebody uh, will, will say the, the question, well, why didn't you just leave the paper? Well, you could, but if you leave the paper, yeah. um, it's got no tooth. So what so I don't go all the way round, you No, saying? what I would do now is yeah. blend that out with, cle yeah. with a clean brush and just blend it out so that it's disappearing. Got you. So it's just dark. Perfect. Yeah. Now you would not have been able to do that had you not got gesso on it. Yes. Because it would have sunk, it would have sunk through in the paper. Got you. Because it's not meant to be watercoloured. Yeah. But however, you have now created your own. So you just go all the way round. So you, you're actually creating a lovely layer of colour. But what you're not doing is obliterating it. Yeah. And when you've done it, it it'll shock you how easy this this little trick is. But how much how much impact it has on the actual yeah, you're right, it does, doesn't it? picture yeah and sometimes where you've stamped if you let that bleed into the background it looks beautiful yeah that's another step i can show you in a minute it's like a little little mushed out look yeah just go all the way round even though it's got the gesso on yeah okay because we're talking about it not bleeding into the paper mm. it's still going to dry all right isn't it oh yeah 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 it's you, you all you're doing is like a white wash you're giving it something that it can grip on it Will it be anything that has water in it will dry lighter. There's only emulsions and pigments that dry darker, yeah. um, most things. Now, if you've got areas that don't contain any petals or anything, yeah. don't forget that as well. Because yeah. you're actually trying it to be around the flower. Yeah. So. I did that on there. Right. I actually quite like this. I hope some people aren't watching now so I can do it again at six o'clock. <laughs> no, I'll do it again at six, but I'll do something else. Now, if you want to change your colours up, look, I've got a tiny bit of green by mistake, by mistake, yeah. but it actually looks quite nice. You can add a bit of colour. I'm a bit more, mine's a bit more subtle, is that okay? I think okay? yours is beautiful. I like it. Yeah, I do, actually. It's gorgeous. You want to see what she's done with it. Right. Sorry, she's rude, Janice. Is, um, she's talented. She knows what she's doing. Right. Oh, hang on a minute little bit in the middle that needs attention but you could, you're at a, a wonderful stage now where you can add more if you want look at that stunning nice isn't it so if you wanted to in it that was really Leicester isn't, sorry isn't it in it in it oh, that was me in I it, fall back it. into my Leicester accent every now and again it's because you're with me Leone does it right we've got this now what you could do and I'll just show you if people want to do a little bit more at home I would always suggest less is more at the beginning and then when yeah. you're more comfortable doing it and you want to drop some more colour in yeah drop some more colour in but only do it perhaps around not as much around the edge mm -hmm. so for instance i've done a smaller line and then a dry brush and what you do is you wet the paper yeah. and bring the wet brush to it so then you're not and wiggle it you've got to wiggle your brush and then by doing that wiggle you sort of clearing it away so it adds more depth around the flower wiggle it just a little bit might be a song in that wiggle it not a great one like a oh i've it's up oh, 80s driving down the road not letting my hair down and all that but yeah some of them and then they just get great the songs and then they put all the power battles on and i'm like oh I'm yeah me means. too get this rubbish off there's a remake of a very famous movie from from the 80s oh is that uh, that included somebody flying around in a in a, an airplane is that and riding on a motorbike and then being in a bar and singing songs and the new movie is exactly the same it is and he's, he's, he's in a plane he's doing it he goes again, in a bar 
and he goes on a motorbike at the same speed as the aeroplane. So it's exactly the same. It's exactly the same. And it's a brand new film. Well, that makes me laugh when they do stuff like that. Uh, and but it's like I was going. I was going to say I am not going to watch these new Harry Potter films. I love Harry Potter. I, I'm, I've not watched one. I absolutely adore it. I listen to it every night going to sleep. I absolutely adore it. Yeah. I can, word for word, every film. Yeah. And I've managed to sort of stay away from the two new ones and. Oh, it's only lasted a year, and now I can't stop watching them. They're brilliant. I love films like that because it's escapism. Yeah. You don't have to worry about anything. I know what you mean. So, anyway, I have done a little bit more shading around it, and that just shows you how easy it was. Dead simple. It's laid back to e and easy to do this, so it's not as messy. Okay. Perfect. Like I've, Janice, that is lovely. Ah. Yeah. Oh, we've got a question. Brilliant. Um... Would this work on watercolour paper? Perfect. That's what that's what we've in essence. That's what we've made by making this paper. But we can't always have it. We haven't always got the money or whatever. We haven't got it at home. So by doing the trick with this, we have got it then. Yeah, it's a really good idea. I like yeah. that. What Very we're going tip. to do now is yep. we're going to do it's really, really. We might not even use this main colour, but we're going to think about where the leaves are yep. and the light would be. Okay. So. If anything is there and there's something over it, around it, it will create a shadow. Yeah. So if we say that the light is always coming from the right, just that's what I would do. Yeah. Anything that the left on the left or on top of it would have a little bit of a shadow. So how? What do I mean by that? Well, all I'm going to do is just wet the brush. Yeah. And I'm just wetting where the stamped image is, and just on one side. And blending it out exactly the same way. So, blending out the ink. Yeah, and just to show you what I meant, that this edge here is on top of this edge. That edge is on top of that. So if I just wet that and bring that out a little bit, I'm creating a shadow. Well, I think I've gone wrong. Already. No, you haven't. You can't go wrong with it. Oh, really? That's perfect. Is it? Yeah, it's perfect because you're just trying to bring out a little bit of oh, got you. Yes. Sh shadow and light in it, and you can't go wrong because if you do don't go, all you do. Get a bit of colour on your brush and put your colour back in. in. Yeah. So it's a really that's too strong. If you get it like that, yeah, dead easy. All you do is wet your brush and yeah. bring it out again, and you've done that. Perfect. I'll just show you mine. That is really just nice. That up so you can see that. Look at Janice's now. Look at I'm that. just starting to drag out the colour to build and create. That's all that. you do. You don't do anything else. Shadow. You can if you want. You can be all fancy and. Well, that one's that. starting to run now. Look. Right, what you do then is get a wet and just pick it up. S and I'll pick it up. it up with your paintbrush. You, you don't have to... Um, and if you dab it with a paper towel, just don't dab onto it because you'll take colour off. All you do is just like screw it up into like a, a point and just dip it on. So I've shown you a couple of ways of doing it now. Um, if you used a vintage photo... Oh, that, that's a good tip to show you, actually. I've gone... I'll do it again. I've got a bit mad here, so I'll do that. And what I've done is I've created a pool of colour and I don't want it. So just use your finger to lift some of it and then wash and it just comes off. It's really easy. Really easy. Just honestly, and if you're really, really sort of lost and don't know what I'm talking about when I say about like leaves being on top of each other, all you do is just put wherever you've stamped a little bit of water like this. So you don't even have to worry about what I've just said. You're just creating a really nice washed out look. You start to get that. The more you do, the more you start to get the hang of it. The more you look around and go, right, that leaf Perfect. is on top of that leaf, so there's Perfect. the shadow. Absolutely. I think it's practice, isn't it, really? It is. And it's it's but not being scared because at the end of the day, yeah. it's a piece of paper you've painted on because um, you want it to match colours, but there's so many different papers in that. You can create all sorts of different... I mean, I could paint that over with gesso again when it's dry. Yeah. Um, and, and have it like a pretend... It was like the background of the paper. Yeah. You, you, you wouldn't know. Yeah. Now, you think, when, we, when we've done... I'm not going to be long, because I know it's like watching paint dry. Um, but when we've done this, you will see how this actually looks like a printed piece of paper. That, that looks, looks like. Amazing. I see. I prefer yours. No, because I've bleached out some of my my. Um, but I actually like that. I look, yeah, I really like that because you softened it. Yeah. And see, it wouldn't do for us all to to choose. I mean, 
the same thing. That's why when we're doing stuff like this, it's a case of it's nice to do it together because you can just you can you can learn from one another, can't you? Yeah, of course you can. And it's like I like the colours you've used, and yeah. that, although that is one of my favourite colours, I wouldn't have thought of using it, and it's just worked so well with your paper. Mm. However, I'd have been on my own. I wouldn't have even thought of it. So, I mean, this is a really good set. It is a really good set. Um, the dyes in it are absolutely stunning. They've got like scalloped edges. They've got one's got a harlequin cut out. They're really well thought of it. And I can't wait for this one day special. It's really nice. It yeah. seriously is nice. And and the fact that you've got all those dyes, and they work with everything you've already got. I really do feel that Studio Light now they've completely changed from what I knew. Seriously, I knew oh. them a few years ago, and they were very very different. Really? Oh, yeah. But, uh, and it was more towards your decoupage and peel-offs. Yes. And now, you know, things move on and change. And we've got this really wonderful, diverse sort of set of people there now that I, I want to change it up. So I've got um, a wishy-washy feel, which oxide, oxide to do that. Oxides do. And I've got a tiny bit here where my leaves are. And yeah. you might have. I have as well. And what you might want to do that. is where... If you've used green, I've got the spruce is a good colour. Yeah. It will be quite dark underneath where your leaves are, uh, your petals, sorry. Yeah. Just do that. Don't colour it in, because if you colour it in, you're going to lose a whole effect to the paper. And then wash it out and let the colour bleed. Yeah. That's it, you've got it. And you can even take your paintbrush over the whole lot of that later. Got you. really well. That's gorgeous. Thank you. And you said, you said the main thing, it's practice and confidence. Yeah. I think once you, do it, once you get it, you, you start you to get it more. And then you do it slightly different the next time. And then you become comfortable with your own technique. You do. And another thing, a little tip is when you're drawing flowers, or sorry, painting flowers, yeah. the colour of the, li the leaf and the colour of a the flower, they will have, say the green, like a rose. Yeah. A red rose, it'll have red in the leaf. Yeah, always, yeah, it does. always, because it's part. It, it's together. It yeah. can't help but blend its colours together. And then there's another one, isn't there? Like all colours go together because nature's everything goes with green. So I'm mixing up the colours here just to show some people at home might want to change up colours and do something a little bit different. So you can. You don't have to. Uh, Are I'm, you I, colouring in your leaves? Yeah, I'm just blob blobbing them out. Yeah, that's it. You've got it. That's it. You can just go right over it. So rather than sort of washing over, you just put a little bit of water and let them do the whole thing. Yeah. And you can put paint, um, your paint pens on it later. Um, not paint pens. Uh, yeah, you can do that as well. Um, oh, what are they called? Your aqua pencils. Oh, yeah. They look brilliant on it. Absolutely brilliant. Okay. So you've done that. That's yep. stunning. I like that. I really do like that. Now, you don't have to do this, but sometimes, you know, I, I think it works. You'll get your yeah. piece. Now, it will it will ruckle or buckle, whatever you want to call it, because it's had water introduced to one surface and not the other. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to get anything. I'll just put anything oh, on here. for sentiment. Yeah, just a little sentiment. Um, I'm not putting that on. Oh. Condolence. Oh. It's a bit sad. Oh. Condolences. I don't want to put that Here, on. I love you. For you, I love you. No, condolences it's got you on You did it. it, congrats. For you, I love you. You did it, congrats. Is that all one? Oh, no, no they're separate. Sorry. For you, I love you. You did it, congrats. Not all the same one. You nutter. Right. Now, I think, looking at that, yep. do not work to me, that. So what I'm going to do is the colour stamped on. Yep. I'm going to get a tiny bit. Hmm. See, I think a bit of marmalade, you doing it with a bit of marmalade yeah. now would work. So I've got this edge here, tiny, yeah. and I mean a tiny bit, it's oxide this, it's strong. And I'm yeah. just going to put a tiny bit on the edge and then just wash it in. So I've got, got you. that little tiny bit of colour that's mi mixing it all up together. See, I do do cleanish things, don't I? <laughs> no, not. Nah. Even, that, even this is mucky. This is the messier the better. Yeah. And you need to waft it a bit. And you can sort of work at it and say, right, do we need any more? And I don't think so now, because that now works with that, in my opinion. 
much better than it did before. But you can build it up. I mean, I could get a pencil in that and do some pencil work. But you'll see that it has that instant waft. Waft it. You'll waft see it just, a little just that bit. tiny bit. Yeah. There you go. Look, it's just brought it all together. Yep, like so that. what we're going to do now is we're going to, you can wet glue this or double sided tape, it's up to you. Yep. And all I'm going to do is just, I'm going to glue. I've already got mine on there. Oh, well, you're clever, aren't you? Yeah. Right, you can either stamp your stamp it sentiment first or stick it on. It's I'm going to stick it on. Right. So, I'll do mine then as well. Now at home you do wet glue, I was going to say wet water. Don't, you, you can use wet water. Are sticking water, either side on as well? Yes, we are, yeah. Yep. Wet water. Wet water. Do you know, I buy um, the product that I think we've been, we're being told we've done 40 minutes, no but I, I'm taking no notice of them because I'm really enjoying myself. <laughs> <laughs> they all want to go off and have a cup of tea and some lunch. Cool. And I'm like, they, they keep saying, OK, Janice, you've done 40 minutes now. And I'm like, yep, not even acknowledging it. Na, 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 na. Who cares? Right, I'm sticking this on I mean, here. It won't take yeah. long anyway. But it really shows that something... We'll be finishing shortly. Yeah, we will. But it shows that something that looks quite intricate. I mean, I've done it before. I know people have seen it, but it's so simple to do. And when you see other people doing it, I'm actually just proving a point that, you know, it is as easy as it looks. Now we've got another comment. I'm just going to stick this down. Um, from Sunday. Please I got home from work early. Oh, I'm hey. glad you got home from work early as well. Well done. Oh, but you're not having um, a skiving day, though, are you? I'm just going to get round Oh, sorry. Here. It's all right. right. Hey, have you ever skived off school? You can say it now, because we're well past school age, aren't we? But Did you as, ever a, as a teacher, or as a kid. Oh, <laughs> no, as a kid. Oh, cool. So used to paint me on bruises on my legs to get off. Did you? Oh, yeah, it was terrible. I love that. I don't know how my mum used to put up with me. Love that. Not that you should, not that no, I think that skiving that. off school is a good thing. We used to have a whack man. Pardon? A whack man? What's a whack man? A whack, whack for when you're wagging it. Oh, right. oh yes, you used to come around and find out yeah. where you were. Yeah, whack man. And we used to have Nitty Nora, the head explorer. Nitty Nora, no yeah, we used to have Nitty yeah. Nora as well. Hands. Used to go like that, hands, face. And you'd be like, just pulling your ears Nitt off. Nitty Nora was the person that used to come to your school and check you for nits. Lice and verrucas. Yeah. But yeah, we used to call her Nitty Nora, the head explorer. And yeah. she used to, really, she'd be like... But she'd use the same comb oh. for everybody. It'd yeah. be like, <laughs> next. Well, I didn't have them, but I have now, love. Yeah. And then it'd be like, Veruca, so you couldn't go swimming. Yeah. But, oh, but yeah, that was... Uh, or go in the showers. Ooh. Right. Yeah. Right. Are we doing sentiment next? Yeah, I've got my sentiment, and I'm using this big one. Now, just be careful, because I'm a scruffy stamper. But if you've got a stamp platform, that Hampton one is really... I'm just going to put that there, let your dreams blossom. Now, I'm using the same colour that I've done that. I'm not. I've gone for a different colour. Cool. Don't matter. So, use that. Now, if I must say so... Oh, Heather says the good old days. The good old days, Heather. They were. I'm just going a bit more there while Janice is what? doing oh, that. You've... Oh, you see, mine won't fit that way. Doesn't matter. Who says it has to be, anyway? Who says no that's right? Rules. And I'm... Just a little trick while well, I'm just showing this is on the very edge of oh you don't, oh you silly woman you right doing? I've just gone round the edge but I'm going to get rid of some of it because it's a little bit heavy and I'm just going to wash it out and I'm going to age it a little bit just to make it look a tiny bit like aged um, paper oh, and I've yeah. gone over there but it doesn't matter because I'll show you if you do that you could just go over it and do it on there as well look. No problem. So I've done that bit there just because I went over it and made a right peat tongue. But we used to stain paper with tin and put it in the oven and bake it like a pirate map. Or was that just me? No, I like the tea bit, but I never baked it. We used to do that with crisp packets. Crisp packets? Oh, yeah, they go shrink like that. They oh, make yeah. Those badges. Them and them things that used to go like that with. You like ever do shrimp, them? Like shrink plastic, eh? Yes, yes, you yes. You smell yes. and all that, yeah. yeah. You fancy him or you fancy her and you're like, oh, why did I just make that? Right, I just spent my own maths lesson doing that. Oh, right. you've gone over. Now we're coming up with 45 right. minutes. This is a record. I'm done. I'm done. You're done. 
No, no, not yet. No, but you see, look, you've got the confidence now to just go and do your own little Thank thing with it. me, yeah, I don't need you anymore. No, no I, I always need you. But the thing is, look, that's the nice bit that you've... You sort of took it on and you've, you felt confident enough. And you could go back in with pens and go in with your pencil. I'm going to show it to the cameras in a moment when I've done it. Oh, Luke, could you show yours to the camera? Yeah, sure. Please. To, to the pe lovely people at home, not just to the camera. And that started off as a coloured piece of paper with the new die cut range that was coming. A bit of watercolour, slap it on. And um, Bob's your uncle, fan is your aunt. And look at this one. Look at this. Do you like that? How gorgeous is that? I'm just waiting for the comment because I, I just heard that somebody wants yours. And then I put mine into shot and everything just went silent. I like yours better. Because I can still see so it. So it was like, oh, look at that. Oh, that's lovely. I love the colours. Oh, Katie wants that. That's really nice. Put mine into shot. Absolute silence. You know why? Because they're absolutely gobsmacked at how beautiful it is. There you go. It is. I think it's lovely. It is. I like that. Isn't Thanks that for those techniques. Isn't that quick and Do you know easy, what? though? I'll tell you what I have learned today. I've learned a little bit more about shadowing and got a little bit more confidence because, you know, when people talk about it and they say, this is how you do it, this is how you do it, and you go, oh, okay, but when you actually do it mm -hmm. and then you learn by, yes, I made, I think, I made a few errors, but now mm -hmm. I've actually done it, I've gone, I get it now, Absolutely. I get it, and then you just develop more and more and more, so don't you? So easy, and the confidence comes as you do it, but I really, you think that's paper, it's all matching, you've done You've designed it yourself. Beautiful. Oh, everyone's saying, well done. Uh, brilliant, Lou. Brilliant, Janice. They're both gorgeous. They are. They are. Uh, says Rwanda. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, I love them both. Oh, thank you. That is so kind, everybody. But it's true. No, it's That's not lovely. kind. Well, it is kind. You're being yes. very nice. But it's actually true. Yeah. So they're actually telling you... But that's what it should be about. Isn't that it's it's all about giving people encouragement, isn't absolutely. it? Absolutely. Um, you know, we love your feedback, we really do. Yeah, and giving people absolutely. encouragement because we're all different and we all do things at, at different ways. Um oh who wants mine? Debbie. There you go. Okay, Debbie you can have it. Oh we'll who, get it sent who, out to right, you. Who, who wants uh, mine? private message your address. Who wants mine? Um oh there's a there's a whole tarade of, of people. Tarade. Yeah, is that a word? <laughs> tarade. Tarad. <laughs> There's a, there's, there's Torrent. a, yeah, there's a lot of people wanting yours. Um, Debbie wants mine. Oh, the music's coming in. That means, oh, it's, it's like, um, the speeches at the yeah. Oscars, you know, when they start doing right. the music. Get off. Where's that up? <laughs> They've got to, yeah. Like they did to Adele. Get yeah. off. Get yeah. off. I'm off The right music there. is on. All the counting is out now. Uh, Lou, uh, say goodbye to everyone. See you we'll later. See you at six o'clock. Six o'clock tonight. Don't forget. One day special with Lou. It's been great to have your company. Uh, see you later. Bye.